Hey everybody, Abby here. I am here to do a tutorial for this look. This is a very smoky, shimmery, <laughs> um, it's got a lot going on, but this is the third portion of my Tokidoki Robbery Palette. Sorry it took me so long. Originally, I was just going to scrap the whole idea of even doing the third portion because I had such trouble coming up with a look for this one because I'm just not usually someone that wears a lot of smoky looks. So, um... I had a subscriber request and I will annotate her name. She left a comment on one of the other tutorials asking if I was going to do the last one. So I did want to fulfill that um, request from her. But it just has some bright bubblegum pink lips, bright pink cheek, and it also has glittery inner corners. So this would be good for a nighttime look. Um, not so much wearable daytime, but hope you guys like it and stay tuned if you want to learn how to do it. Okay guys, the first step that we are going to be doing is I'm going to be putting down a base of Dangerous Cuvée Paint Pot from MAC. And I am going to apply this with a lip of brush because I do want more precision when I add this because I only want this on my lid just a little into the crease. So I add this. This is such a nice paint pot for a smoky look and just blend it out and take it just a little upward. Just be careful where you spread it because again it's going to be sparkly. And then I'm going to also put a little of ELF's Mineral Eye Primer um, where my highlight will be going and my transition color just so it, that has staying power as well. Okay, so the first color that I'm going to be using out of my Tokidoki Ravelry palette is I'm going to take a combination of these two shades right here, um, Liberty and LA Gun. One is a dark smoky teal, the other is a dark smoky forest green. And I'm just going to take my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush and pack these on my lid. Don't worry about precision with this, just don't let it go too far over the crease because we will be blending out and upward so you don't need to put too much up there. Okay so I'm going to take my 217 and just blend this upward just a little bit and make sure that it's evenly blended on the lid. Okay, and then just kind of do the same thing back and forth. Take the colors and just kind of pat more on. And then just blend until you feel like you have enough of the smoky effect. And it's to an appropriate darkness to your liking. Okay, then I am going to take a little bit of the matte black in this palette right here and it is Adios. Just a little bit on my e.l.f. mineral blending brush and I'm going to put this in my outer V and in the crease just to give a little more smokiness and definition. Okay, and then again with my eyeshadow C brush, we're going to go back in with the two colors, pat over it again, and pat over the black as well, just because you don't want to immediately know that it's black, but you want that extra smokiness. And then with my cleaned off 217, I am going to take my 28 neutral palette, and I'm going to be taking a combination of this shade right here and this lighter shade next to it. Um, it is my perfect transitional color and I'm just going to take them on the 217 and I'm just going to buff it just and blend this outer edge out so I have an easier transition between the 
really dark shade and my highlight color. And just until you have as much blending as you'd like, just clean up, I'm cleaning up the outer edges just a little bit. And just going to go back just a little more with the lip color. Okay, now for a highlight and tear duct highlight. For the brow bone highlight, I am going to be taking just my smudge brush from Studio Tools, and I'm just going to take that same neutral palette. Okay, we are going to be taking this beige shade right here and putting that on the brow bone. And then I'm just going to take this white with the shimmers and just go back a little bit and put this at the very edge of the brow bone just to catch the light and have it a little extra shimmer. And then with this silver here in the palette, this is Bullets. This is a very cool silver. It definitely has a lot of blue hues to it. But we're going to put this in the inner corner and just blend this up. Because it's not, we don't want it to be harsh with the silver, but we definitely want to know that it's there. Then for the lash line, I'm going to co combine the two colors again and just on a pencil brush, smudge them on my lower lash line. Always making sure that you're connecting to the color up top. Okay, now for lining, I'm going to be using Max Feline Coal Eye Pencil and lining my waterline, or tight line first, then waterline. This is a very soft, dark, dark pigmented eyeliner pencil. So it's very easy to line the waterline. It's just a little sharp, so I poke myself in the eye. That's why my eyes are watering. Okay, now we want to lock in that dark black. So I am going to be taking the matte black in the palette. The Adios. I'm going to be taking on a flat liner brush. And just going to... That, that dark black liner because this is a very popular liner for MAC but it is very smudgy so we definitely want to make sure that we do that step and then I'm going to curl my lashes and put on my mascara and I will be right back okay everybody now as for the blush I am again going to stick with the blush in the palette and um this is just a nice rose color and it's called Pole Patina. And I'm just going to use my e.l.f. Mineral Blush Brush. Get some on the brush and just kind of smile and put this in the apples first. But then we also want to brush it back to where it connects into the hairline so we have one continuous color from the apples back. This has lots of shimmer in it, so it will be high shimmer and it will give you a glowy look. Oh, and what I forgot to tell you was I put on the inner corner of my eyes um, NYX Glitter Liner in Disco, I think. I'll annotate it down or in the video somewhere. Um, but then next, for the lips, I am going to, well, first, I want to highlight the high points of my cheeks. <laughs> Um, but I'm just going to use my Vincent Longo um, Small Dual Fiber. And this is Restless Pigment from L'Oreal Hip. And just brush it on the high points of my cheeks. 
This is going to reflect a lot of light and just make it glow perfectly. And I'm also going to put a little down the bridge of my nose and in my widow's peak. Okay, for lips, I am going to be using Wet n Wild's Matte Formula Lipstick. This is in 901B. This is the Bright Baby Pink. Really good, fun way to brighten up this smoky look. And I'm also using Elf Sugar Kiss Hyper Shine Gloss. This thing is discontinued, but this is in coral, but it's more of like a very high shimmer pink. And I'm just going to add that on top. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this look, and I will talk to you soon. Leave your comments below, and please remember to comment, like, and subscribe. Bye, guys.